Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Saturday, March 2nd. A uh, quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into my trades for the week. Starting with SPX, new all-time high, of course, 51.40. Uh, same with NDX, the NASDAQ. All-time high, 18,333. Uh, RUT, not at an all-time high, but definitely making up some ground. It's all-time high is 24.58. Not, uh, not close, but making up a little ground. And then the Dow, a little bit weaker, did not make a new all-time high this week. Um, but up at thir uh, 390.87. Gold, big pop on Friday. Gold's actually not too far off of its all-time high, which was 21.52. It's currently at 20.91. Silver, a little pop on Friday as well. Notes and bonds pushed higher uh, later part of the week. 10-year yield back down to 4.181. Oil, a little push higher this week. Natty gas, slightly higher on the week. Soybeans sideways. Wheat, a little bit lower. Corn, uh, that jump was more due to the contract roll, but pretty much sideways. Uh, Euro and the pound, both a little bit sideways. And Bitcoin, Bitcoin mania, back in effect. Uh, back above 63,000. All-time high in Bitcoin, 69,355. So heading that way. Uh, all right, so that's a quick look at the markets. Let's go to my trades for the week. So um, what's, what's interesting here is, so I just, I just did all my end of month for February, and I literally made more on March 1st in one day than I made the entire month of February. So, so it's so crazy. Like, I don't, I don't think this is something that I talk about enough, but this is one thing that makes trading so difficult for a lot of people. Right. And that is we all, we all, we all want consistency, right? We always, we always want the, I want to make 10,000 a month or 20,000 a month or, or, you know, some, or a thousand dollars a day or, or whatever it is, but it, but trading just doesn't work like that, does it? Right. So, you know, I mean, I could have a $2,000 month and then I could have a hundred thousand dollar month and that's just the reality. And that's why it's so hard for people, uh, some traders to be successful because mentally they can't take that kind of disparity from, from week to week or month to month, or even from day to day. And I think it's important that, that you kind of zoom out and, and understand that. And, and that's why, you know, tracking your performance is so important because you can zoom out over several months, several weeks, several years, and really look at, okay, well, if I just do this over time, it actually works over a lot of occurrences. But if a, lot of the, a lot of us just zoom in and get so caught up in that trade or that day or that week or that month, when in reality, you know, taking a, a step back and looking at the big picture can, can uh, make a huge difference just from a psychological standpoint. So I don't think I talk about that enough, and I think it's something that we we really need to 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 be aware of in our own trading. Um, all right, so let's break this down by the different strategies. So I've got my one to one, three to two uh, reentries uh, chopped up a little bit here. Uh, some of these were discretionary on days where I, I'm not trading it mechanically, but I still trade it with smaller size. So just slightly green on those for the week. Uh, my AM trades for the week, a little bit red, just two trades, minus 2,000 on those. A uh, new strategy that I started trading, I'm calling it the end of day Magic Mahomes. For those, in the, uh, for those of you in our community, you know why. Uh, three winners this week and one loser. Friday was a loser, plus 1,600 for the week. No FOMC. JSP is just one trade plus 1500. My NDX 10 wide, five trades. Friday was a loser. The other days were winner plus 2400 for the week. Power hour. A lot of these profits just came on Friday, on March 1st. Uh, but all, uh, all power hour trades for the week were winners plus 18,000. 9.45 for the week. Uh, PM trades. 
So I've got a new strategy that I've just started, uh, which I call PM tranches. Uh, so those are actually a bunch of different trades, but all, all considered one. So, uh, and then one PM, uh, ratio trade. So plus 8,576 on my PM trades for the week. Price action. I think I may have had one of those. I'm not going to really be trading that anymore, but 200 bucks on that one. Uh, my quiet midday tranches, uh, three different, uh, three different days. Um, let me refresh this. Yeah. A little over 3000 on those. Rick, decent week for Rick. Just had one loser and the rest winners plus 3,600 on those. My O2 DTE call calendar, just one of those for 300 bucks. My one DTE, three of those, a little over 2,600 on that. Time flies, none of those this week, yeah. And then dynamic calendars. Had a green week, had one trade that I botched, I mismanaged. It was something that, per my rules, I take off in the morning, kind of the uh, first part of the day, and I decided I was going to let it run, and here it is. So minus 2,200 on that one. Um, as you can see, I flagged myself with a little... Uh, mistake there, but that should have been about, I mean, if I would have taken it off when I was supposed to, it would have been about a $500 loser. Instead, it turned into a $2,200 loser. Actually had a chance to book a profit. I actually had an order in and then price ran away from me. So all in all, just not a good trade, minus 2,200. But still with that one net, a little over 4,500 for the week on my calendars. Directional futures got chopped up a bit here. They actually would have been green for the week. I had one trade that I forgot to close out at the end of the day. So it ended up turning into a, from a, about a $500 loss to about a $2,000 loser, which was this one in the bonds. So slightly red on my directional futures for the week. Iron duck, couple of small wins, 145, 189. Uh, MOC trades, just the one this week, plus 1950. Option selling. I don't think I had any closes. Yeah, these are all just rolls. So those are all still open. And then lastly, my portfolio margin. Get all these checked. So one win on a golden butterfly plus 1300, a small scratch loss on a reverse vertigo and the others are still open. So that's it for the week. Look forward to a good March. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon.